Hello folks and welcome. LMDE5, Linux Mint Debian Edition, Cinnamon Desktop. You know, there's a lot of people out there They will not click on any other desktop than the current one they're working with. So uh, a lot of people don't click on Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon Desktop videos because they're working with LMDE5. And to the most degree, they are compatible, but not everything is perfectly compatible. Then there's the other option of people just wanting to uh, stick with their own desktops as far as videos are concerned. So that's one of the reasons that I make separate videos or starting to for LMDE5 versus uh, Linux Mint 21.1 edition. And, and in some cases I do make mention of that it's compatible on both. But in either case I know there are users out there uh, that will not click on um, videos that say Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon. They rather see videos that says LMDE5, for instance, Cinnamon Desktop. But in either case, folks, welcome. None of my videos are under two minutes. They all have timelines and chapters. I do encourage that you subscribe and check out my other videos also for Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon Desktop. In my About section, I make the statement that Linux is for any age. Also, in my Community tab, I have some uh, tips for you on keyword searches. My current database, I think, is up to 100 videos. My previous YouTube site, which is now closed, had 450, and that tool became invaluable to some users of searching for material, because all of my videos are keyword indexed. So one more time, folks, welcome. Linux Mint Debian Edition Cinnamon Desktop. Today, I'm going to talk about themes. Right click on your panel bar. You can get themes this way. You can also go to your Mint menu and go over to the System Settings Control Center and open it up here. So the combinations of a lot of things. First, first of all, I'm using a custom mouse pointer, but that's irrelevant. And that video also should be the same for Linux Mint 21.1 versus the LMDE5 also. That's not really what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about applications, icons, desktops, and add and remove stuff. And I'll talk about, as a bonus, scroll bars. So the combination of this, this, and this has hundreds of combinations. As I add more themes, that even becomes more complex. My suggestion to you, and it's only a suggestion, unless you've got a great memory, is to do a screenshot of where you start before you start playing. So let's go to the Linux Mint uh, uh, menu and type in SC, screenshot tool. You can leave it right on top of the window if you like, or you can just pull it to the side if it makes you feel more comfortable. It never takes a picture of itself. This window can be anywhere. So grabbing the whole screen, what does that mean? It's going to grab not only the box, but the calendar, the wallpaper and the panel bar. It makes for a big screenshot. So grabbing the window basically makes a picture of this box and that's all you really need because I'm just looking for this information here. You can also grab selected area. That means uh, when you do that and take the screenshot, you'll be asked to draw a box around something. So this is really the most convenient factor. You can include or exclude your mouse pointer. And again, my mouse pointer is custom. I chose this one because it's bright yellow. That's the only reason I, I installed that. But Linux Mint has plenty of mouse pointers for you if you don't want to install any additional ones. So whenever you use this tool, if you've never used it before, it normally defaults to pictures. But since I saved the last one in desktop, it's going to bring up and say, that's the last place I saved it. Just keep the default name that's sufficient enough and take the screenshot and verify what it looks like. So I'm waiting for it to build a thumbnail. So I can clearly see all of the stuff that I started with. Again, unless you've got a great memory, then you probably don't need screenshots. But I'm going to tell you something. The combinations of all this stuff here has a lot of different outcomes. Now I'm going to start that process. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click this. I'm going to click that. That button doesn't match that, does it? Let's look at the file manager icon, it's even different. Okay, we have the menu here. Looks slightly different to you. Now I'm going to switch this up a little bit. I'm going to switch that one. Oh boy, this kind of bleeds out a little bit. Menu is kind of different. Let's try different button sets. How about that? 
How about, you know, if you go with uh, maybe the high contrast, like that? How about some extra dark stuff? And then now let's mix it up a little bit. Let's go to add and remove and we can sort this by popularity, sorry, name, popularity, date, installed, the ones with the check marks are installed, and upgradable. So let's just go to the name and pick a different theme. I'll grab that one and hit that key there. Then I'll find another one and um, let's use that one. It's installing right now. Now let's go find those. All right, so these are some of the custom themes. Okay, I can still do different combinations. I can still do different combinations. Let's try that. See what that looks like. Let's see what the file manager looks like. Green button there. That sort of matches. Let's try the high contrast and things are changing. Huh, that's interesting. The buttons are different, right? And you're just trying to figure out a combination. A lot of different combinations is what I'm getting at. Okay, so let me go back to a, like a darker theme possibly. Let's try this elegant green uh, with a, uh, about a green button thing. So that's now dark. Fall manager is, is light with red icons all because I changed a couple of things in here. Okay, so again, if you're after what is already installed, you can do it that way. And you can also go back in and back out and go find your installed themes. And then you can change the buttons around to try to figure out the right combination for you. But more importantly, you just, you're all over the place. So I'll talk about this feature here in a second, but uh, let's fix this where, you know, you, you've uh, went through all the combinations of things and you, you decided to go back to your original theme. Well, that would be nice to have a screenshot, right? Well, let's match things up. So first of all, we're gonna look for, I'm gonna pull this box to the side. We're looking for mint white dark red. Mint white dark red is that. And mint white dark blue, mint white blue, mint white dark blue is that. Even that has a different uh, thing. And then this one says Linux Mint. So that should be easy to find. Now I'm back to default. In other words, where I started from. My theme that I picked. Maybe it was even the default theme. It's always a good idea to do a screenshot unless you've got a great memory. Now I'm gonna show you this setting in here just because it pertains to the themes and it has something to do with a, a previous video that I made on LM21.1. It's about scroll bars. So let me open this up with the default off because that's how it comes. And I'll use pictures as the demo. A pictures wallpaper, whatever. It's the scroll bar I'm looking for, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is turn that on and slide this from 10 over to 24. And uh, then I'll open up the file manager, go find that same folder and uh, take a look at the scroll bar now. And hopefully you've seen my other videos when it comes to resizing icons. You can do it the old fashioned way or you can do it my way. All I'm doing is holding down the control key with one hand while using my computer mouse, my USB based computer mouse with the scroll wheel on it to resize icons while holding that control key. I want you to notice that it grows in size also. As I find the right size icon, I release the control key and they'll remain in this size. If you have a touchpad on your computer, you may want to try this out. Depress and hold the control key down, taking two fingers in your hand and grabbing a hold of your touchpad and slide up and down with two fingers. It should resize. At least it does on my older laptop. So if I go back and turn this off, this is still holding the previous setting, but as soon as I reopen this, this will go right back to the previous default setting in case you don't want to use wider scroll bars. 
That's what that does. So again, folks, combinations of your themes. This one, this one, and this one has lots of different outcomes. It's always a good idea to make a screenshot just in case you need to go back and figure out what you, uh, well, wanted to go back to because the outcomes of these things are, can be really unpredictable sometimes when you're mixing and matching. Again, it's like making a sandwich. You're kind of throwing it all in there. And then of course you have the choices of themes added to the mix too. Now, installing themes is a piece of cake. You just highlight the theme, click that, wait for it till it stalls, and then go pick it. So, uh, sorry, it's that one right there. I, I didn't wait long enough for it to refresh the screen. So now that, that is that theme currently. And I believe this has a button set to go with it. Yeah, it's right here. So that has an actual button set. It's a soft looking theme. I don't know if that has an icon set to go with it, but I don't see it in here. But anyways, you could mix and match. So if my choice was to go, okay, I don't like any of this stuff. I need to go back. If you don't have a screenshot, you're taking a guess at this. I'm going to leave it like that and let you think about that for a second. And then what I'm going to do here is I am going to say thank you for watching and take care, folks.